It's a pretty fine day for a Saturday in Florida. A little heavy on the, you know, just slightly humid. You now you can feel that heaviness. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm looking at the sky. It's really pretty blue and clouds. I got a sleeveless shirt on, so weather's good here. In the 70s, I think, gonna go into, you know, 79, 80 will be the high today. Not that I'm here to do a weather report. Too much sun and glare. Let's move us around here. How does that look? Oh, better. How does that look? Oh, the seat is wet and now my butt is wet. Oh, God. What are you gonna do, right? Is that a little better? I'm squinting. <sighs> the things we do. First, Alex V, I don't know why I found favor in your site, but thank you very much again for sending me a donation. You know, it, it just feels nice to be appreciated. Thank you. Um. Sometimes we do things that are incredibly stupid. <laughs> and the sad part is, is we don't have the resources to make such stupid mistakes. So I made a stupid mistake and I'm ready to talk about it without crying. I've lost sleep over it. I have raged and ranted and fumed and called my daughter Rachel over and over again so I can get it out and get it out and get it out. <sighs> well, the stupid thing I did I have to see through now and it's costing me a lot of money because of it. <sighs> I bought a van. Yep, not the van I wanted. The van I wanted got away from me, and that's the van I would have preferred to have these troubles I'm having now because the interior was beautiful. I didn't follow my gut, and when I fail to follow my gut, I really pay the consequences. So this guy had a van, and I said, if you bring it over, I'll give you 50 bucks so we can look at it. I don't know what happened, but I couldn't go over to it and look at it. I let Maggie look at it, and I think that was the intuition saying, don't do it. You don't even want to look at it, drive it, listen, just stop. I told him I'd give him the $50 either way, whether I wanted it or not. I just needed him to bring it there because we had no way to get to him because I kept losing vans because I had no way to get there because my boys had to work, etc on that green van that I lost, that I didn't get. My intuition said, rent an Uber, trust yourself, go look at it. And of course it went immediately because I, she held it for me twice and I, anyway. So when I realized after I paid the guy for this van, yeah, I actually bought it because they didn't want to look at it. I said, look, Maggie, you say it sounds good, looks fine. Air conditioning's working. I'm going to go with that. And she said to me, get in and try it. Get in and try it. What can I say? I needed to do all those things because I would have never taken it especially for what I paid for it. So what happens now? Well, I took it to get a tune-up and the mechanic put the wrong uh, spark plugs in it and damaged the pistons in the engine. Am I gonna sue him? No, I just don't have it in me. Um, so I found online I just started advertising all over the free uh, Facebook sites that I need a mechanic. I need someone to put a new engine and for the amount I could afford to put the engine in. And So I found someone and I had him do my boys' vehicles first and he really screwed up on my youngest son's vehicle, and not mechanically, but he got grease 
all over the interior and then they tried to clean it out and it's it just soaked he's going to try he, he wants to make it right but that's up to Dennis Jr. and so he's giving me the install of the engine for half of what we agreed to and he wants to fix Dennis's vehicle for free because of the screw up meanwhile Maggie and I are trying to pull all the water out of Dennis Jr.'s car and open the doors and pull the seat covers off because the interior is soaking wet. I know. I know what you're thinking and you're probably right, but I'm in a desperate situation in that Maggie drove that van to this guy half an hour away and she said she wouldn't dare drive it anymore because the van feels like it's going to stop or overheat. So, I'm going to trust this guy to drop in a new engine. It's not new, it's used. 90-day um, warranty is all I get on it. And this is the best I can do. And this is what's caused me so much anxiety and sleepless nights and worry and fear and the whole nine yards. Please pray for me. Pray for my sons. Dennis Jr. missed a whole night of driving because of this fiasco. So that's what I did, and as soon as I get, if a thing is, there's so many things wrong with it, and have to be fixed. And uh, the seat is the biggest issue. The motors are gone and it won't move, and I can't reach the gas pedal properly can't use the seat belt and try to scooch up far enough you know I can't well at least I have some money to correct it it's not what I wanted to do with that money but um, I'm gonna do the best I can I'm probably gonna have to have a fabricator fix the seat problem because there are no seats for that um, in a manual or anything else you can't find them and uh, we already tried that and uh, you can't just put any other seat captain's chair in it because um, it's filthy. It's full of dog hair. It is stained. And dis it I don't know why I did it. Don't ask me. I don't know why I did it. But I did it. And now, and no, I can't sell it for what I have into it now. It's, it's gone too far. I never get the money back. So... I'm going to do my best to patch it up and use it as long as I possibly can. Get my money's worth out of it. I don't know. But I, I needed to air out my grief, my mistake, my stupidity. Mm -hmm. About as dumb as you can get. Yep. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Don't forget to pray for our friends, please. Just... I know God knows who we're talking about. Just pray for all of our homies here, those going through widowhood and those going through making stupid decisions, <laughs> those going through loss and loneliness and financial issues. Boy, I get it all. So I'm going to let you go now because the neighbors are standing around outside doing something to the yard. and. Um, I'm just gonna, I think that's our landlord looking at it for her. Well, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I love you all and thank you for loving me back. All right, bye.